Hi guys, welcome. Rachel here with the cackling moon. It's been a while since I've <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to say that um, because I haven't done any like fun videos in a while, so I apologize. Um, so this video, I'm gonna actually show you guys my cheapy crystal collection. Like, I don't even know how I want. <laughs> I don't know how I want to how, how I want to title this. Um, but basically you can have crystals at a budget. Okay. Um, believe it or not. I know that sometimes people don't buy crystals because they cost too much or they don't have access to, um, to crystal shops. You know, they're not always around they're not always local. Um, now that I live up in the desert, my nearest crystal shop, aside from the one, the one and only that is up here, um, which is, eh, it's not that great. But aside from that one, the nearest crystal shop from me is an hour away. So when I drive to a crystal shop, I have to go with the intention that I will buy something um, to make the trip worth it. <laughs> or I'll like go visit family and whatnot. So you can't always have access to the crystal shops and I and I understand that now now that I live where I live um, but what if I told you guys that you can buy crystals at like your like your bigger chain stores like Walmart Marshalls home goods TJ Maxx I'm pretty sure out of all four of those stores there's at least one around you guys um, even like stores like like the Trader Joe's or the Sprouts and stuff, even those too. But I don't think I've had enough. I don't think I've had enough experience shopping at those because I, <coughs> those aren't as accessible to me as the others. So, what if I told you guys that you could find crystals if you really, really looked hard enough? Starla's gonna be in the video, by the way. <laughs> Sorry if she's distracting. <laughs> um, but what if? I could tell you know you could find those right so that's what this video is going to be about um the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the one that i can't hold because <laughs> it's actually up on my shelf and it's a it's a lamp so let me just get this camera so the first crystal i'm going to show you is actually my selenite lamp that you could see right here this beautiful baby um i actually found him at ross I mean, no, I'm sorry, not Ross, TJ Maxx. I say Ross because I shop at Ross all the time. <laughs> but I actually found him at TJ Maxx. Um, he didn't have the bottom part, which these lamps have like a little bottom section that it kind of acts as a stand. So he was on a discount. Um, my husband and I paid, I think we paid $45 for him. He's huge. If you can kind of get a perspective, um, like my hand and the lamp, the candles, you know, um, with the lamp, he's rather large, gorgeous selenite tower. Um, so he didn't have the bottom part to him. He didn't have like the little stand, but he still stands on his own. So I don't know if you can kind of see at the bottom. I have, I kind of wrapped the cord around him, but there's no stand at the bottom. So what I did was, <laughs> and he didn't come with, um, Okay, now I'm gonna have to like fix the camera. <laughs> he didn't come with, um, <sighs> sorry, I'm like out of breath. I get like that, like I forget to breathe while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> he didn't come with a stand. He didn't come with a light bulb or anything like that. So what I did was I had an old selenite lamp. Um, I'm not sel selenite, I had an old, um, oh my God, salt lamp. <laughs> I have like a, a shit ton of salt lamps in my in my room throughout the house. So anyways, I had one that had um, the, the actual salt kind of like started to melt or disintegrate. I don't know what happened. I think it just got too um, moldy or like, like hot. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. So um, I ended up getting rid of the salt lamp itself, but I saved the, the, the bulb and the little like the, the, the cord and all that. So what we did was we bought the selenite because it was like this huge tower of selenite for $45. And we put in the plug from my old salt lamp into this guy and he lit up and he's beautiful. And he's like my favorite piece 
to have in the, the room. He's super, super cleansing and just gorgeous to look at. So, <laughs> but I didn't want to bring him down because I didn't want to risk dropping him and he's super heavy and just really big. So I was just like, nope, he's going to stay on the shelf. Okay. So, um, the other store, so that one I got at TJ Maxx. Um, so since we're talking about TJ Maxx, the majority of what I'm going to show you guys today is bought at TJ Maxx. That was like the one store that I had access to. Um, but I also have a piece from Walmart and everything else was TJ Maxx. So let's do the Walmart first. So Walmart has salt lamps. Okay. So <laughs> a salt lamp, there's another one. I have another giant and I forgot my other giant. He's over there on top of the shelf. Um, salt lamps like that. He's a big one. I got him. Um, I think at TJ, TJ Maxx also, but Walmart has them for like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 or $15, like super cheap, you know? Um, and it's a salt lamp. Like you set it in your room, light it up, turn off the lights. It's really relaxing. Like I love salt lamps because they're so relaxing. They're so calm and like peaceful and the lighting is perfect, especially if you meditate and all that. Oh, so <laughs> Walmart has salt lamps. They even have the gray ones, which I have yet to buy, but I, it's on my list to buy. They have the gray salt lamps. They have TJ Maxx had white ones and then they had the, the, the typical orange ones. So Walmart also had these really cute salt lamp, well salt, holy shit, I can't talk. I'm like about ready to like turn off this video and start over, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so Walmart has these, um, there's a name for these and I, I'm, it's like not coming to me, but anyways, um, little candle holders. And so you could put a tea light candle in them and they glow orangey. So this guy was $5 at Walmart. $5 is a pretty decent size for something like this, you know? And it's really pretty because you have like that orangey glow, the same kind of glow that you get from the salt lamps when they're lit. So super cute. So that was at Walmart. Um, so definitely if you're looking for salt lamps or salt candle holders like these, um, Walmart has them $15 for the salt lamps $5 for like the little candle holders and you can go find them in the section of where you know like where they have the religious candles or like the incense stuff it's usually where the furniture is and then you go like there's an aisle where they have like the candles and like the, all the little home decor stuff it's usually in there so go check it out at your Walmart um, okay so TJ Maxx is the other store that I would go to. Some people were commenting on my post saying that they found crystals at Marshall's. I went to Marshall's yesterday. They do have a lot of like home decor things, but unfortunately I didn't find any crystal stuff. So I'll have to like keep an eye out because we do have a Marshall's up here. We don't, unfortunately, we don't have a TJ Maxx up here in the desert. So anytime I'm visiting my mom, I always go stop by the store and I take a little quick little tour around the store to see if, if I could find any crystals. Um, because like I said, you guys can find them for really good prices. Um, so these guys are all stuff that I bought back when I was living at home and um, TJ Maxx. So... <laughs> First thing is my amethyst tea light candle holder. Look at the size of this chunky chunk. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous amethyst. He's actually a real more faded. He's kind of dusty too, but he's more of a light amethyst. So he's not like that gorgeous dark purple. Um, and usually like, I guess if you're talking about the quality of crystals, the darker, the better, the richer, you know, but so he's not as high quality amethyst but he's still really really pretty i mean amethyst in all shapes and sizes and colors is just gorgeous um and i really love that it's a tea tea light candle holder because when you light them up this inner part of the crystal just kind of like illuminates in like an orangey purple color so it's just really really pretty um he's huge and he could sit perfectly flat on the surface um and i like because he has like this like um, soft, I don't know what you would call this, like soft material. So he doesn't scratch up the tables and stuff. So really gorgeous piece. I got him at TJ Maxx. I remember seeing 
someone else made a video about all of their amethyst pieces that they found at TJ Maxx and I was like, I remember I was like so ready to just go every single day just to snag one. And I, I remember I, I went to TJ Maxx a couple times and I couldn't, I couldn't find any amethyst and I was so pissed. And then it was like the one day, the one day, it was like that one magical day, there was an amethyst. Um, and then another tea light that I found on another trip is this one. So this one is more round and I actually have, oh, this one's a Ross pick. <laughs> oh, I don't remember getting you at Ross. I have so many pieces, you guys, so I forget where I get them at. So this one was actually $14.99 at Ross. So huh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know I had this one from Ross. I thought they were all TJ Maxx. So anyways, it's a tea light candle holder. It's amethyst. You have some nice little clear quartz surrounding the backs, the sides of him. Gorgeous, gorgeous amethyst. This one, when he's lit up, you get a nice orangey purple glow. It's super, super pretty. So again, suckers for candles. If you guys like candles and you like tea light candles and you could totally find the tea lights at Ross and TJ Maxx, they have the plastic holders instead of like those aluminum ones. The aluminum ones, I feel like they just, they're really hard to, to take out of the candle holder itself. But when you have the, these plasticky ones, it drops right in and then it's easy to take it out. It doesn't like, it doesn't get smashed and stuff. So I do recommend if you're gonna buy tea light candles, get the plasticky ones and they tend to have those at TJ Maxx and Ross apparently. So yes, okay. Um, <clears throat> Let me just show you guys my other amethyst. So this amethyst piece was literally, and I don't even think the price tag, no, I took the price tag off. This piece was, <gasps> this was a magical find um, because this is a really, really, really nice piece of amethyst. Look at how dark he is, right? He's super dark. And the outer sides of him are smoothed over. So I don't know if you could see that on camera, but this is all smooth. Like it was, t um, you know, like when they, when they shine like the tumbled stones, like so they're not rough, that's what they kind of did with this. And he is just absolutely gorgeous. A nice dark purple, a flat end, like a flat bottom. So he sits perfectly on the tables or a shelf or whatever. Gorgeous piece of amethyst. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember how much I paid for this one because I don't have the price like it's halfway there But it's already like put, Coming off it has a sticker saying made in Brazil. It has a sticker that, that or, um, On the price tag it would say like organic amethyst or whatever so you know because TJ Maxx sometimes they have fake crystals or dyed crystals meaning their colors are enhanced so they're like dyed to be darker, but you could tell, you can kind of tell the difference between like a real crystal. Like if you have enough crystals in your collection, you'll start to know what is real, what's fake, and um, what is like man createdly like enhanced with the colors by dyeing them. But this one obviously was not. Um, this is genuine, so absolutely gorgeous. I wanna say I paid $40 for this one because I, I wanna say, the most I've spent on the crystal was probably the lamp, and that one was 45. So I want to say this one was like $40. Um, but they're so cheap, like 40 bucks for this guy. Where like I have another amethyst. Let me see if I can get him. I have another amethyst. This one. So they're the same size, pretty much, right? But this one, I got at a crystal shop. A crystal shop down in LA somewhere. This one, I paid $80 for. 80. 80 bucks. He's a really, really dark crystal, really rich in his color here at the core, which I could see why they would price him so high. But crystal shops, you tend to like, <laughs> you tend to like, you tend to pay more than what you would genuinely pay for at another place which is why I'm, I'm doing this video because you could find some major gems in these like stores that you could find anywhere. So 
$80. I, I paid for it because it was worth it to me. Like, I love amethyst. And I think this was like a birthday purchase a few years ago. But this one, paying half the price and it's just as gorgeous, totally worth it. So aside from my selenite lamp, this baby is like my prize possession. <laughs> and this one was probably the most recent um, purchase that I made within like the last year or so. Okay, another amethyst, oh, I just lied. Here's the most recent amethyst I, I did. This one was actually a couple days ago. So this one, <laughs> this one I got yeah, um, at home, well it says home goods, but it was TJ Maxx. This one was priced at $39.99. And you know, believe me, look at the tag. $39.99. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you go to a crystal shop, I'm not, I'm not kidding you guys. Like I used to work at a crystal shop. You go to crystal shops, they're gonna jack up the prices on these things. Um, easily, this guy could be sold for 100 plus dollars, right? I've seen some of these these sizes of crystal being sold for 200, 300, 400 dollars in crystal shops. They could jack up the prices because they know people will buy it. And a lot of people that go to crystal shops and stuff, you know, they may not know better where they could find some other stuff until they stumble across a video like this, right? So this guy, Found him at TJ Maxx. He's a, he's an amethyst. He's like a geode. So you could tell like he was broken from the rock, which, uh, you know, most of these are like that. But this one is like his little diamonds or I don't even know what these are called. The little pretty stuff. They're not as big as like these guys, right? <clears throat> so I really like this piece because he has a, a chunk of clear quartz right here. So it just adds character freaking gorgeous um so i was super excited to have him i'm putting i'm actually gonna put this guy in my bathroom and um i have a big ass huge amethyst light like the lamp like the selenite i have a big one of amethyst um that my husband gifted me like for christmas two years ago or something so i'm gonna move that one into my reading room so it's like a focal point when you guys get your readings done, you'll see it. <laughs> um, and moving this, this amethyst to the bathroom. So super excited. Okay, so those are my amethyst crystals. And that's all TJ Maxx stuff. So as you can see, that one was priced at $39.99. The other one, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this one was also 40 bucks. When you compare it to the prices of the crystals that you find at the shops, so much more affordable. Um, this is a TJ Maxx purchase. This one was $16.99. So you can see the price there. <laughs> so this one is $16.99. This is clear quartz. This is a gorgeous piece of clear quartz. And it's also a tea light candle holder. So sometimes the little sections to put them in are not as big. There we go. So a tea light candle holder goes right in the middle and it's clear quartz. Look at this huge, like I'm gonna have to get up so I can show you guys. Look at this huge piece of clear quartz. I mean, you just have these beautiful pieces sticking out. You have like a bunch of clusters of little babies. Oh my God, gorgeous. So when this guy is lit, he just looks really radiant. <laughs> Put him in a dim room, he just speaks for himself but absolutely gorgeous pieces of clear quartz. I like clear quartz, it's one of my favorite crystals. So I have multiple pieces all over the house. <laughs> um, and to find the tea light candle holder was like exciting. So $16, you guys, 16 bucks. This one, oh my God, I remember I was at um, TJ Maxx and <laughs> I put a picture up of this guy on a story and I was asking you guys, should I buy him? Should I buy him? And everyone was like, you better have bought him. So this is just literally just a chunk and I took the price tag off, it was like right here. This is just a chunk of clear quartz and there's multiple pieces to him. So there's this huge piece right here and then you have like a couple others sticking up Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> so when I have him like sitting down, I actually have him on my little elephant meditation table. So I, he's kind of awkward because he's not completely flat. So he doesn't like sit completely perfect. So I kind of have to like move it around so he sits perfect. But um, 
gorgeous piece of clear quartz. So this guy, I think this one was also $40. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I, I don't have a price tag on him, but <laughs> he's gorgeous. Like literally you guys, if I went to a crystal shop and saw something like this, I probably wouldn't even be able, be able to afford it. They would probably jack up the price so much, you know, probably a hundred plus dollars for them. Um, but yeah, worth it. And the final piece to show you guys is another salt lamp, salt candle holder thingy. Um, this one I got at TJ Maxx, but it has three pieces. So a gorgeous, this is like a statement piece. <laughs> you have him like on the middle of the coffee table. He's really heavy. Um, you can have him like in your room, but he has three pieces. So when he's lit, it's magical. Just like this orange heavenly glow in the room. Um, and so I haven't lit him up in a while and I haven't figured out where I want to put this guy. I might put him in one of the guest rooms once we get like the last piece of furniture in there for it. Um, but I like to put crystals throughout my house and the salt ones are just so cleansing. So I don't know why I can't think of the name of these salt, salt lamps, Himalayan, <laughs> Himalayan salt crystal. I guess that would be like the, the, the correct term for them. Um, but anyways, super affordable crystals, you guys, like all of these crystals I showed you, minus the one that was not purchased at any of these big chain stores. Um, they're all $40, $45, $50 or less. Um, I'm telling you, like, I have proof. $39.99 for something like this. So, needless to say, if you love crystals, if you're on a budget, and if you have a TJ Maxx, a Ross, a Marshalls, a Home Goods, um, and you have, like, patience, <laughs> go check out your stores walk around like the home decor parts. So if you're in TJ Maxx or you're in Home Goods, obviously Home Goods has all the home decor everywhere. But TJ Maxx like go down the aisles that have the candles and then go down the aisles like next to that where they have like all the little knickknacks that you can put up in your house. That's where you're going to find the crystals. Um Marshalls, like I said, I haven't had luck with Marshalls. I've only gone once. Ross it's a hit and miss. Obviously, I found one at Ross, so it does exist. But since the times I've been to Ross, because I shop at Ross, that's where I get my clothes, um, I have not seen any crystals. So it's a hit or miss with that. But definitely, um, TJ Maxx has them. Home Goods, I know, has them. Um, you just have to look. You got to look. It's got to be on a lucky day. Ask the people that work there when they put their new inventory out. Um, and just be ready that if you see one that you're going to purchase it because those are the kind of stores where <laughs> you can't just say, oh, I'm going to think about it and I'll come back. Chances are you're not going to find it. So if you see it, buy it. Um, and then the Walmart has all of the Himalayan salt lamps and candle holders. So if you're looking for something like this, it's just five bucks. If you're looking for like a big lamp, um, they have those and they're like $15, I believe. And they even have the gray ones. So yeah, you gotta check out your stores, you guys. And um, and I know it's not supporting like small business when you're shopping at these bigger chain places, but when it comes down to you're on a budget, but you really want a crystal, like why not, right? Why not? Like at least that's my opinion. So happy shopping. <laughs> and if those of you guys who are watching this, if you have personally bought crystals at any of these stores or any other stores please leave comments below and share with us so that other people who are watching this video whether it's today or like months down the line they can get some ideas too so if you found crystals at other shops that I haven't mentioned let us know share the secrets um and if you have photos you want to share and all that I don't think you you can include photos in the comments for YouTube but you could totally email me and show me or um, tag me if you're on Instagram. I really wanna see your purchases and happy shopping and crystal hunting, you guys. I will see you guys later. Bye, my loves.